you found a realtor and you know how much you can afford since you've been pre-approved for a mortgage. With this info, you're ready to move on to the next step. Hi, I'm Sean Ryan with the Blue Coast team, and today we're going to look at step three in the 10 steps of the home buying process, and that is creating your real estate wish list. Making your wish list is one of the most important steps of the home buying process. This is where you think about the features you want and need in a home. When creating your wish list, start with the basics. Break the aspects of the home into three different categories. I need this, I want this, and I really don't care if I get this. First consideration is location. Most cities have a wide variety of neighborhoods and they may have significant differences in the average sale price you'll find in each. Take into account locations in regards to schools, shopping, public transportation, health fitness centers, or whatever is most relevant to you. You can adjust your list based on what you want to avoid as well. Now that you know what area should be suitable for you, consider what type of home you want to be in. Is it a single family? Is it a townhome? Is it a condo, a detached, or maybe a semi-detached? Consider the number of floors you want as well. Do you want a bungalow or two-story accessibility? How much square footage you'll need? How many bedrooms, bathrooms, en-suites, walk-in closets, garages, sprinkler systems, security systems, pools, hot tubs, fireplaces, finished basements, and the list just goes on. With all that info, we can finally move on to step four, where your realtor can start sending you homes, set up showings that meet your criteria, and get you on your way to the home buying process. Thanks for watching, and remember to put Sean on your line.